Um, all right, today we are playing Tiny Epic Vikings two players. So you're going to see things a little bit different. Um, we got Darren joining for our two player game. So first of all, if you take a look up here on these three islands, you'll see that we've populated those islands with an NPC, a neutral uh, Viking clan, essentially, from other tokens that uh, are not included in the game. And these clans kind of control these three islands until you come in and, uh, and destroy them and take over the islands. So it kind of helps concentrate some of the activity of the two players into the center of the map. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. We'll see what we have for our gods here. Sif, Freya, and Njord. All right. And then there'll be four favor cards on each row in the two-player game. So I'll pull those out. All right. And then I will take the first player marker. Okay, so the drafting is also slightly different. So in this uh, scenario, Darren and I will both take four cards like normal. So that's that's normal. But then there's also going to be three cards pulled off to the side. That's essentially kind of a dummy uh, drafter in a sense. Um, three because it would be four, right? But each of us are going to, Darren and I are going to draw a card. And then this deck is going to be part of the rotation. So when it comes to us, or like when it goes to the first player, which in this case, because of the first round we're going clockwise in our rotation, it'll come to me and I'll just receive three cards. Okay, so taking a look at my drafting options here. Wow, I got some pretty good options here. Um, okay, I'm going to take that one, I think. So I will go ahead and flip these ones over. Now these three cards are going to go to Darren. I'm going to take the three cards from the dummy player there. And then these three cards become the dummy player's new set. And one of them is going to be removed. So now that's only at two. And then I get to choose a card from this lineup now, which is really good options. I'm very, actually, I'm very pleased with what I have here. Let's go like this. Okay. So I'm going to hand these two cards to Darren. I'm going to take the two cards from the dummy drafter. Darren's going to set two cards up here. That'll essentially be the dummy's two cards. And then... Huh. Let's keep that one. Okay, so now that I'm going to be discarding one card, instead of forcing that onto Darren like you would in a normal game, this will actually just get discarded. When I say normal game, I mean a three- and four-player game. Um, without this particular draft variant. So then Darren will also discard a single card. And then from these two cards, Darren and I just get those as our force cards randomly. And then now we have our set of four cards and we're ready to begin. Okay, so being that I'm the first player, I'm going to start us off. And I'm going to start us off with a gather. So I've got a gather four, you'll see here. And then I also have the bonus action. I don't have an F rune, so I don't qualify for that bonus action yet. For the gather, I'm going to go ahead and take four resources of my choice. One of them, I can tell you now, is going to be food for sure. And then uh, the other three resources I'll take in wood. So I'll go up to five wood. And I'll have three food and two steel. Okay, and then that's the end of my turn. Darren, you're up. All right. I got to give our gods here their associated runes. Place your boat. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, Darren, you place your boat first, actually, because I was the starting one. So, that's my boat. You go ahead and place yours, Darren. I was like, where are we going to sail? I'm going to go here. All right. Now we're good. All righty. Sail in here. Okay, so it looks like Darren played this card of the sail, too. Also, uh, can move a settler if Darren has the sea rune so you're gonna raid the village here on the f island yes, sir. okay raiding a village in round one cost a single steel as indicated on this mat up here in round two you'll see it costs two steel round three it costs three steel and 
and you're di you're dispatching two settlers to the island, so that'll give you the F rune, and that will increase Njord's fury by one. Okay, and you're gonna dedicate that village. Uh, nope, I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, so that's the end of your turn. Uh, well, I do have an F, so I can move around my things if I want to. But I uh, what do you mean? So you're you're looking for a C. Oh, yeah. Yep. Never mind. I was looking at your card. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Look right there. Hey, stay away from my Vikings. Right. Hold on. They're my Vikings. Okay, so I'm going to sail. And I am going to... Interesting. Well, I have some fancy ideas, but I... Huh. I'm going to go... So it's a sail three that I have. I'm going to go one, two, three... And I'm going to raid this village. So I will spend one steel. I'm going to land here. Now this NPC Viking clan has a total of six value up there. Uh, and then I can dispatch three Vikings, so I will, all three. So I'll spend three food. I'm going to drop three Vikings here. And that will eliminate one... of the neutral Vikings here, and I'll just throw that off to the side. They're still at five, and I'm at five, so that actually doesn't give me control of the island quite yet. So I don't have a sea rune. I cannot uh, use this bonus action, and but I do have a village I could dedicate, if I so choose, and I am going to dedicate. I'm going to build. I have that five wood from that early, really big harvest that I did. So I'm going to spend five wood. I'm going to drop a temple on this island that will give me uh, influential control of that island at this point because now I've got six plus two plus three, so it, or four plus two plus three, so a uh, total of nine uh, to his five. So that will increase Freya's fury by one. And that's the end of my turn. Bam. Now later, if I leave that island, the control would go back to green if I had less influence on that island for some reason. So that is something to note. And there's no way to get rid of the NPC temples. So that, that four influence from those temples will always be present on those islands during the game. All right, I'm back. Okay, so you just did a gather. And then you gained additional food from your bonus action. Uh, yep, I've got that too. Nice. That's good though. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sail. So I'm going to undock here. One. And I'm going to sail over to this island. I'm going to raid this village with my final resource. I have one steel left. And I'm going to drop here. So I don't have the resources necessary to deploy any settlers to this island, but the bonus action on this card would allow me to move a settler because I do have the sea rune. So I could explore with a settler. Now let's see. I have, we both are equal on temples. I have three settlers. He has one. So I can afford to move a settler. So I will. So I have to move it across the dotted line. I'll come down here to the N island. I'll pick up that N rune. That will increase. Sif's Fury, and then I could dedicate my village if I want to, um, and I will because I do need some resources really bad. So I'm going to gather resources. I'm going to pick up two resources of my choice, plus an extra because I built a temple. So you'll see I get the extra resource from that. So I went with two wood, and I'll pick up... Hmm, one steel. Okay, Darren, your turn. All righty. Do a sail action. All right. One, two, you coming over? Yeah, let's just go ahead and bump you right off. Okay, so Darren is dislodging my ship. I'm going to... 
kind of stay centralized. So I'm going to choose that C region to go into. And Oh, you've got so much food. I sure do. And you can deploy up to three. Yep. So Darren played the sale three cards, so he can dispatch up to three settlers to the island at the cost of three food. That obviously will eliminate my settler, so that'll go back to the board. Darren will take the end rune, so I'll pass that over, yep. and that will increase Sif's fury. Let me just lock this card down. And that'll increase Sif's fury by one, and you spent your three food? Yep, sure did. Okay. Then I'm actually going to use my little ability and... Yeah, I need to get some resources. I, I am resource star, <laughs> but... We're going to see how I, I... I feel like I did pretty decent, though. I've got that island up in the top corner, and I'm not too, uh, you know, I'm not too ashamed of that. That's pretty good. All right, you done over there? No, let's see there. You, are you doing your resource exchange as yeah. your bonus action? Exactly. So now you three got three two. ends. That's pretty good if you had one of yeah. those bigger cards with a bigger kind of bonus action there. All right, my turn? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to play... Bow, bow builds, and sails as a bonus action if I have an F, which I do from my previously played Vikings. So I will go ahead and build. I'm going to spend two wood. I'm going to build a boat. I'm going to drop that boat. Uh, I'm going to drop that boat right here. And then, uh, again, I do qualify for this sail. So I'm going to sail here. I'm going to raid this village with that single steel that I took. Uh, and then, <clears throat> huh, I don't, I don't quite have any way right now anyway to get settlers on that island. So unfortunately, not going to be able to claim that island yet. Okay, that's the end of my turn. All right, and Darren with his final card of the round. A battle. Mm -hmm. What are you battling for? So for this guy right there. So that's kind of nice about being last in the player order is now Darren guarantees that he's going to be facing an invader off the top of the deck. So Darren's battling for the FC favor card with two food and a steal if he wins it. All right, Darren, flip your card over. Let's see what you got. You're up against a nine. Oh, oh a 13. Wow. So the 13, this is actually the strongest card in the deck with like just raw strength. There are ways to get a higher uh, value than this if you're like multiplying at times runes there's certain vikings that offer that but just straight raw power this is the strongest but it's very expensive you had four steel huh yeah. you had four no, steel no. Uh, i had three steel so you're zero you got to take oh, that yeah, all yeah, the way down zero. thank you for that all right so then this is the character that dies and goes to valhalla so that will increase freya's fury by one okay that is the end of the first round, and you got your resources from that? Uh, yep. Ah, so, and flip that back over. Oh, I'm just that's, gonna, why that's why you have a steal. Yeah, you should pick that steal back up from your, your resource game. Okay, so now we're on round two, and we're going to draft, and the player to the... So whoever has the least island runes, which in this case is me, uh, the player to the left will be the starting player. So Darren, you are now the starting player for this round. And in this round, our draft is going to go counterclockwise. So let's discard our Viking cards. And we're going to grab five cards off the deck now. You got your five. Yeah. And then there's going to be four cards that are essentially the dummy drafting player. So those four we're going to set here again like we did the first time. And again, it's one card fewer than the number of cards the players draft for that round. Okay, so, well, and let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I need the, I need some of that. Okay, so now we're drafting the other direction. So I will hand my cards to the dummy drafting player, and Darren, you will hand your cards to me. Okay, here's yours. And then you'll take this pile, Darren, as your pile to draw from. So then this is going to come over here, and one card from this is going to be removed. And then I've got my four here. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely need... 
I need that, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Okay, and you got three cards coming yep. to me, Darren, and then this is your three to grab? Yep. So I will grab this three from you. So go ahead and grab those three cards. And then these three come over here, and one of them is removed. Okay. All right. So, well, I guess, yeah. I mean, I could do some more of that if I can get some resources. Okay, so I will choose that card. All right, here's your two. Okay. And then you'll grab those two. Yeah, these two right here? Yep. This two will go there. I'll take this two. Uh, well. I'm trying to see if I can really take advantage of some of these bonus actions, but I'm a little bit shy on runes at the moment. Um, don't mind that, but I just don't know if I'm going to use that. So I'm going to take the other one. So this is actually going to be the card that is removed. And Darren, so whatever card you're not drawing right now, you can just go ahead and remove. And then these two will be split and we'll each take one of these as our force cards. Okay. So that card will just be tossed out. Okay, we got our first card, and we're good to go. And you start us off, Darren. All righty. got to love that first card. Where is the Sir Gamelin Viking at? I know. There's maybe, uh, maybe there's something we have planned. I don't know. But Gamelin has found his way into many tiny epic games, so... It does beg the question, doesn't it? All right, what you got, Darren? So Darren is doing a build with a bonus action of gain two wood. That's a nice card to start with. Holy smokes. You're building a boat and then getting two wood back. So essentially building a free boat. Because you do have the F rune from that island control. Okay, very nice. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Um, can I do something really good? Maybe. I really want to wait on this card. Jeez. But I didn't really draft optimally to get myself in a situation for that. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. Um, man, I am so out of resources. I'm just going to have to go with this. I'm just going to have to play this one. Uh, I'm going to collect three food because I get to gain three resources of my choice. I also get, actually, I'm going to collect two food because I get one food for having a ship built. So that will take me up to three. Uh, and then I also get another bonus resource. So I can still pick up two more resources in which I will take those and steal. So, okay, that's good. And then I don't qualify, unfortunately, for the bonus action, which is a major bummer. Um, but I have a village that I could dedicate, and that could be useful, actually. Um, Oh, if I could have just done things in a slightly <laughs> different order. I feel ya. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hold on to that village for now. <clears throat> That's brutal. Okay, Darren, you're up. All righty. What you got? Gather? I'm going to gather. Gather three resources, and if you have two end runes, you can build, which you do have two end yeah. runes. Well played, well played. No! Build it on your F island. Nope. <laughs> Don't build it there. I want it right I want there. that island. All right. And then, uh, yeah, and then you build. gathered, you built, and you spend your resources? I, I have now. Okay. All right. Let's see. I really got to kind of get something going here. I feel like I'm a little bit in trouble, but maybe that's, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm doing all right. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this card, and I'm going to sail 
And I'm actually, uh, well, I could bring this sh ship over. One, two, I'm gonna spend two steel to raid this village. And I'm going to dock up here on the F island and I can deploy two settlers for two food. That won't eliminate Darren's settler, but it will gain me control of that island and Darren, I'm taking your F rune. And that will increase Njord's fury by one. So I'm just going to go grab that effort from you, Darren. Um, and then I do qualify for this, which allows me to draw a card into my hand and then discard a card. So I'm going to take a look at that. So I uh, could have used something slightly different. Um, okay. I will discard this one. All right. And then I do have these villages and I am going to dedicate one of them to gathering resources. So note that in a two-player game, uh, you can only have two villages uh, for each of these bonus actions up here on this card. Uh, you got these four bonus actions, but you're limited to the number of players for how many times that bonus action can be taken. So uh, resource gathering now is out for the rest of the game. Um, for that resource gathering, I'm gonna grab two steel. I get one free food automatically from having a boat built and then I also get a resource of my choice because I have a temple built and in that for that resource I'm also choosing food okay and that is my turn somebody in chat was wondering is this set in Ogmore well where else would it be set could this possibly be anywhere other than Ogmore all right Darren what you got all right Okay, Darren. Oh, looks like Darren's got the double ends to qualify for battle. So Darren's going to be going in there. I know Darren's going to be battling with this card. Uh, but first, he's got a sail three. Are you going to come in and dislodge me? Exactly. Okay, and that will... Oh, yep, I'll go into this kind of more centralized sea region. How much food did you spend? Uh, I have three, but I'll just spend one for sure. That guy there. Okay, that will eliminate one of my Vikings. And that does give Darren area control on that island. So F will go to Darren and Njord's Fury will increase. And then you're battling? I sure am. What are you battling for? Let's see which I really want that one right there, but I want this one here. Yeah. When you when you choose a favorite card to battle for, it has to be on the end of a row. So this one, this one, this one, or this one in this case. So you always have four choices, but they have to be the bookends. All right, let's, let's go for this one. Okay, that one is a C and an N with two food and a wood. I like that. All right, Darren. Good choice. All right. I'm battling you. All right. Flip them over. I got 12. So we both have to spend our steel, win or lose. So Darren has to spend one steel, I have to spend two. I came at him with the 12 over his nine, so I win the battle. So Darren's card is the F, so F, uh, Njord's Fury will increase, and then Darren gets to take advantage. So first of all, I get this card, so I'm gonna pick up that two food. I'm gonna grab that one wood, and then Darren is going to be able to use Njord's God ability for having sent a Viking to Valhalla. And that ability is sail each of your boats up to two times. If they dock at islands, they cannot raid villages, but they can deploy settlers. So there you go. Each of your boats can sail up to two times. All righty. And what are you doing here? I am. You sailed this one, sail one. Yep. and landed here. And you're gonna take two settlers from this island I and move them over to here. Okay, so Darren does not have any settlers left on his uh, clan mat over here. And when that's the case, if you don't have any settlers left on the mat, then you can take them from other islands. But first, they'd have to normally come from the mat. So C, so you grab that. So that will increase Freya's fury by one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. So Darren, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Alrighty. What you got there, Darren? Not much right now. Let's see here. Wow, another 
If you have two pink runes, the C rune, which you do, then you're going to go right back into battle with this guy. So yeah. sail two and then but enter a battle. If you notice, it requires one steel. And Darren doesn't have the steel. I don't have the steel. So he won't be battling with him. Nope. Yay. And the question is, do I... And Darren doesn't have any food. Yeah. So even if you sail, you're not going to be able to deploy. Yeah, but I can't ha. bump you off. Uh, that's true. At the very least. You yeah. could. That's true. You could bump me off. All right. Okay, my turn. Let's see here. Um, I actually do have some resources now. That's that's good. And I also have the village to dedicate. Unfortunately, I can't dedicate for any more resources. Um, hmm. Interesting. One, two, three. Huh. Okay. I am going to build and do nothing. Ha! Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I already, yeah. Jeez. Not great options. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to battle. How about that? How about, how about I just show my card like a noob and then battle? Um, okay, so let's fight for, let's fight for this one. All right, Darren, you coming at me? You yeah, know what I, I got. Was, I was thinking about it. Come and right then, at me. But then I fired hard. And let's see. Can you... Nope, I won't. Since he has used up all the resources, I will use it to build. But since I can build, I'm going to find <laughs> your my card. By your three. card isn't. Yeah, geez. I see why you didn't fight me with this card. <laughs> <clears throat> but you do qualify for the bonus, yep. which you will gain wood. You have uh, one, two, three C runes, so you'll gain three wood. Yep. Not too shabby. Okay, so then I have to fight somebody off the top of the deck. Let's see. Please. Be low. Oh, wow. So in this case, this will actually be a value of five because uh, the invader is going to count. This is a three plus N runes, but all the runes for the invaders count as wild and they do count previous invaders that have come out. So in this case, it's going to be three plus two. So that is a five versus my three plus my N rune or my C runes. And I have three. So actually I have six. So I win that battle. Wow. I should have went for a better card. <laughs> I, I went for a single Rune, kind of to hopefully maybe dissuade Darren from battling me, but uh, I should have maybe went for something better. Okay, so I get two food, two wood. I get this favor card now. So now I'm up to two favor cards of the total three that I can hold. And this is the character that dies and goes to Valhalla. So Sif's Fury increases by one. And then I have one more card to play here, Darren, ah, in which I've got some fancy things I'm going to do with this card. So you just wait and see. All right, so I'm going to sail. I've got a sail three. And then I have this like wild move a temple ability that costs, that I would have to have four C runes to qualify for. All right, so I'm going to dislodge your card, uh, your boat from here, Darren. You can go to whatever side you want. That's right. And uh, I'm going to dispatch three settlers. I have. Seven food. I've got three settlers right from my mat, so they don't even have to weaken any of my other areas, which is really nice. Darren will lose a settler. I will gain that sea rune from you, Darren. That will increase fear, uh, Freya's fury. And now I actually have four sea runes. I have two island sea runes and two from my Vikings. So I could actually now move that temple if I so pleased. And I'm kind of tempted. I'm, I'm going to do it just to see. I'm really just tempted. And I'm going to have a really nice uh, mountainside temple right next to the waterfall and the lake down here on the bottom of this island. Okay, so I moved my temple over there. I don't have control of that island. Darren still does because he has a settler. Um, but that definitely is going to make things interesting. Uh, but I do lose a sea rune to this because I give it back to green. But I, I'm I kind of uh, trying something here. So I think it's worth it. Okay, so that's the end of round two. Let's go ahead and discard those cards. Okay, well, so we'll take a look at who has the fewest uh, island runes. In this case, again, it's me. So Darren is going to be the starting player for this third and final round. 
In this round, we'll be drafting six cards, which means the dummy drafter will have five. And now uh, to raid villages, it costs three steel, so it's getting quite a bit more expensive there. Okay, so go ahead and grab six cards. And then I'll pull five out. This is going to be for the, the dummy. Uh, let's see, three, four, and five. Okay, and then now we're back to a normal clockwise uh, drafting order. So Darren, you will send cards to the dummy character and I will pick up cards from there. Okay, um, let's see, we need to get some big stuff going on. And I like that, so we will go like this. I'm going to be sending five cards to you, Darren. What's this guy flipped over That's for? Not it. He did that all by himself. I thought you were doing that. <laughs> I don't want to see those. I don't want you to see those. So this set of five over here, Darren, is for you. Okay. This is your I'm grabbing this set of five from the dummy player. And this is the dummies set of five in which one card is removed and set up here. And then I will select from down from one of these. Ah, I do kind of have a lot going on here. Um, I kind of like that. Let me see. This one's pretty good, too. So I'm kind of looking at that one. Kind of looking at that one for the bonus action. Kind of looking at this one for the main leader action. Tough. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. And then these ones <clears throat> are going to come over to Darren. And Darren, you're giving your cards to the dummy player. Yeah. Then I'll take the four from the dummy. Uh, nope, I will. Oh. You're going to you're going to take these cards, Darren. I just took the four. I haven't looked at them yet. Hold on. So you got to put those back. Yeah, hold on. I won't look. And I'll do this. So I've got four cards for you, Darren, right here. This is the dummy set of cards up here. This one is going to discard a card. One will be removed and put up there. And then I'm going to grab these four cards over here. So remember, you're giving your cards to the dummy player, Darren, and I'm taking cards from the dummy player, and you're taking cards from me. Mm -hmm. Just in that clockwise order. Yeah, you confused the two piles there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... Oh, geez, these are both really good. Wow, look at that one. Whee! Could I make that work? Huh. That is interesting. I might be able to. Um, this one is also very interesting. That one... Oh, this one is also very interesting. Okay, well, I found them. Found I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. So I've got three cards coming over to you, D. Alright, perfect. Good There's time. your three. Alright. I'll take these three. This is the dummies three. Yep. Okay. Of which one will be removed and set up here. Okay. This is not being kind to me. Huh, this one is not bad if I really see I kind of need more like I need more of that though So I don't think I need this so I'm not gonna take that one I don't think I'm gonna go with that one either But I do like how this one is shaking out because I like the bonus action on this one um, Yeah, I think I can make sense of that bonus action. So I'm gonna take that card and then I've got two cards coming over to you, Darren. Okay. I'm going to draw these two cards from here. These two cards are the dummies two cards. And now you have two cards to pick one from. The other one that you don't pick, you throw away. So we throw that away, and then we split this up, and I take one and you take one. And now we have our six cards, and we're ready to begin the third and final round and let's see how this one goes okay darren you start us off <laughs> all right i did not get a very fruitful 
draft. Oh, good. Darren's saying he did not get a very good draft, and I am very happy to hear that. Be. Because I like my draft. I think my draft turned out pretty good. Yeah, he took all the cards I needed. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so Darren has a gather four. Oh, well, this is pretty good, Darren. Yeah. Gather four, and then as a bonus action, pick up two food if you have an end rune, in which you do. So I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. That looks pretty good to me. That was pretty good. I won't lie. I wouldn't be upset about that. No. For an opening salvo, it's okay. But you shall see how everything unfolds. Okay. My turn? Yes, sir. All right, then. Um, let's see. I like this card a lot. So I'm going to play this card. So this will allow me to explore with two settlers and sail if I have an end rune. Ah. Oh, okay. So I'm exploring with two settlers. I'm going to bring these two settlers down. I've already lost the sea island. I gave that up willingly. Uh, and now I actually have more settlers than you, Darren. So you have to remove one settler. And I have more area control on this island now than you. So I take your end rune and that will increase Sif's Fury by one. So I'm just going to steal your end rune. Now I have the end rune necessary that will allow me to sail two. So Darren, I'm going to dislodge. Uh, yeah, I'm going to dislodge your boat up here, Darren. Okay. I'm going to come up here with my sail two. I'm going to spend. Interesting. Um, I'm going to spend only one food. And I'm going to move a single unit from here to here. And that will give me area control because my boat is worth two. Mm -hmm. Each of my settlers are worth one for a total of four versus Darren's three. So I also steal your F rune, Darren. Okay. And that will increase Nord's fury by one. And then I will hold off on dedicating my village for now. We'll see how this shakes out. Darren, your turn. Whew. I think this last round is going to get a little spicy. I see a lot of contention here. Yep, I do too. I don't think Darren likes me controlling all three of the main islands here. Nope, more no. gathering. Yeah, we're going to go. Oh, yeah. Seven. Darren didn't get a draft he likes. I think that's going to help me. Do you qualify for the bonus action? If you have an F rune, you do not. Yeah, you just, you just stole it. Yay. Great. And then I got an extra two for that. All righty. Actually, I'm going to make that deal. Stan's got to gather three. You got all your stuff? I sure do. Okay. All and right. Actually, you know what? Yeah. No, I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to battle. Dropping this down, and I'm going to battle for actually, this card here, which is an F and an N rune, and it gives a food and two steel to the victor. So, Darren, are you battling me? Uh, do you want to fight me for this favor card? I do want to fight you. Okay. How'd you get that steal? I, I, I decided before you finished that. Uh, no, uh, what? I said battle before you gave yourself okay. that steal. That's, that's true. You can't do that. I battled because I saw that you had no steal. Okay, fine. Hold on. Over there fudging your resources. <laughs> I was changing my mind at the last second, but I guess it was a second too late. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? All right, fine. If, if you don't want me to battle with that, then I will go ahead and build on you instead. Ah, uh, see, I I thought that because you didn't have steel, but yeah, you could have beat me with that card. Yeah, sure could have, but okay. Well, that's good too, though. I'll just take my F back. That's good, and that'll increase Niord's fury by one. Okay, and then you do qualify for the yeah. bonus action of being able to draw a card to your hand and then discard a card of your choice. You know what? That was ideal right there. Did you finally get a card I, you need? I got that one <laughs> card I needed. All right, so I'm fighting uh, somebody off the top of the deck here. Let's see what they've got. Uh, two times. Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's well, it's times three, so a total of six. I think I still beat that with my eight. I do. Okay, few. So uh, this Viking dies and goes to Valhalla. That will increase Freya's fury. I will gain this favor card, which is going to be 
single food, two steel. All right, now it's my turn in which, so I've lost this island up here. Okay, I gotta kinda choose really, I gotta choose my battles now, kinda what I actually want to do. Um, very interesting. Uh, huh. Okay, I'm going to, I kind of needed that Efrain, <laughs> by the way. I was yeah, kind of, I, really I was kind of relying on that Efrain a little bit. Um, uh, if I did that, it would be four and I'd shoot. That wouldn't quite be enough. Okay, I'm going to gather. Um, I do not qualify for this bonus, which is really the nice gathering part of this card, but I do gather two still. I get one free food because I have a ship built, and then I get a free resource of my choice because I have a temple built. So actually, I'll gather three of my choice. So I'm going to take uh, three. Let's see. I'm going to take one, two, three steel. Mm. I'm going to take two steel. I'm going to take one more food like that. Okay. And then again, I don't qualify for that bonus, but I am going to dedicate this village to build. So it'll be the second build. So now build is locked out. I'm going to spend three resources and I'm going to drop a ship right here. Okay. Uh, yes, I like that. Um, hmm. No, I'm going to drop the ship. Over here. Okay, Darren, you're up. All righty. Go ahead and select a couple resources. Ah, so Darren's got that with the battle. If Darren has two sea runes, which he does from previous Vikings played, and this one doesn't have a steel cost, so it's an eight. So Darren will gather two resources. Hmm. I could, I could, but I don't know if I should. I got other plans. All right, so, and then you're battling, Darren? Yep, I sure am. What you fighting for? I'm going for this guy right there. So the F and N favor card with two two wood and a steel to the victor. Okay, Um, like I said, I could, but I'm going to instead sail and I'm going to sail over here this I'm gonna raid this village it's gonna cost me three steel oh uh, yeah that's fine okay so three steel so I spend the three steel I raid that village and then I can deploy up to three settlers I have the food for it so I will but, but I'm gonna have to take them from other areas which is which is the thing. So I'm going to take one, two from here. So I'm pretty much just abandoning this island over there. And I can take one from somewhere else. I'm going to take it from here. That will eliminate one of yellow's pieces. And now we are tied in the number of uh, influence we have over this F rune. So it doesn't go to me yet. Now, I do qualify for this uh, bonus, which is gain steel times the number of Ephrins I have, which is three Ephrins. That's actually pretty good. So I gain all that steel back. That's nice. Um, and then I can dedicate my village if I want. And I will dedicate my village to a move settler. I'm going to move this settler over. And that will actually eliminate this other yellow and then i will take the f rune that will increase Njord's fury by one and then that is the end of my round and darren now you're fighting but i didn't battle you so you're going to battle off the top of the deck mm -hmm. and hope that this invader is not super nasty it is yeah. because it's a plus yeah. and when toward the end of the game when you have a ton of invaders it makes oh. these cards really yeah. hard to beat so this is actually a nine versus darren's eight so, Darren, you lose. Uh, that will increase Sif's Fury by one. And then 
as a reward for losing, uh, Sif is going to grant you four resources of your choice. <laughs> little, too little, too late for resources, huh? That's a little bit. And then it will be your turn, Darren, after right. you gain all those wonderful resources. Right. All right, well, let's play my resource cards. What you got? <laughs> resources. Got <them. laughs> all right. A uh, sales. Your draft wasn't as bad as you were playing it to be. This is the one that I got. This oh, this is the one that you drew from yeah. the bonus card? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, like, <laughs> having a sale in your hand this late is really good. So yeah. I'm like, I'm not believing you're, that you had a bad draft anymore. But... Okay. Okay, so what you doing? One. You gonna try to come in on that island? Yeah, sure am. No. Go ahead and bump you off there. Yeah, I'll go in the centralized region there. I'll hang out with the mermaid on the map. Alrighty. What are you I'm coming into here for? Since I'm just flush of resources. One, two, three. Darren thinks he's gonna come and take this island. I thought you were. I thought for sure you were gonna come and take the sea. I. You. You would think that, huh? So what do you got? You got you three. Yep, I got three guys. Were you going to pull one from over there? Yep. Okay, but that gives you five, yep. which is enough. It does actually, it doesn't uh, destroy one of my settlers, but it is enough to take the F rune. Yeah, but. And it does but, increase. I do, I do have this one guy and my. Oh, because uh, your bonus action. Yeah. Ah, Darren can bring one more guy over. Mm -hmm. That still doesn't eliminate any of my settlers because yep. it's four to four. But it just strengthens your your claim for the island, and having both F runes and Njord being the most furious god at this time is really fantastic. Are you going to dedicate that village? You know, I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and you know what? I'll save it for my for my last one. Okay, that was a good play, Darren. I got to give it to you. That was a good play because this taking the island with the C rune is not as valuable as taking that F rune. And, but, what do I have up my sleeve? Because i got to have something up my sleeve. Huh. Um, the question is, do you have any more sale? Well, that's kind of what I'm wondering. If you don't have any more ability to sail. Oh, I have an idea. Woo, I've got an idea. Well, no. Shoot. It. It's not going to work. <laughs> no. I love those ideas. I had this idea about doing something very special with this, but that doesn't quite get me there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to gather. Strong. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm going to take three food. I also, well, two food because I get two food for free and a, and a steal. And then I get one more free resource, and I'll take that and steal. I'm just going to take all these resources to Valhalla because I have nothing to spend them on. Um, I do qualify for this bonus action to move a settler. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I, I really don't want to. <laughs> I, kind of uh, uh, I need another village is what I need. I need to be able to dedicate another village. Oh, you mean like this one over here? Yeah. Just like that one. Yeah, just, just like I don't. I don't want to move any of my settlers. Um, uh, it's just whether or not you have a sale. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not moving my settlers. Your turn, Darren. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm. I'm banking on the fact that even though Darren has more points in island runes than me, I'm banking on the fact that I have three favor cards to his one. So there's that. Are you gonna battle, Darren? Gonna battle and then use my attack there. So, because you need a favor card bad. Yeah. So I am gonna fight. Go for this guy right there. But then I am gonna dedicate this village. So Darren is going for the F C card for one food and two wood. If you get that, and what are you gonna do with that village? Yep. I'm gonna sail. Sail. Yeah. Boom. Right there. Ah. <sighs> Bump you off to wherever you want to go, and I do have. No, I didn't think about that. At least one food, and I'm gonna do that. Actually, both. Both of those over. Okay, that will eliminate my settler. Well, let's get like a double sailor. That will give you that. control of that island. That will also increase Freya's. 
Fury by one. Okay, so this this is interesting. Um, huh. I just I mean, holy curveballs. Yeah, that's good. That's some good curveballs. Um, because I just man, if I had that sale. <laughs> Oh, sale is so important, especially at the end of the game. It is just so critical, and I just don't have it, and I don't think I can. So I'm going to fight you, Darren. Okay. Because I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you get a favor card. How about that? All right. Hey, you got to do something. All right, let's fight. Flip it over. Let's see. Let's see what you got. <laughs> two. Yeah. I have eleven, so I'll spend my two steel. So Darren loses. That will increase Njord's Fury by one. Darren, that will allow you to sail each of your boats twice. That's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I do get this favor card, which will just give me resources I don't need. It's the end of the game at this point, so I'm just going to flip my favor cards over. I'm going to discard this because you can only have three favor cards, so I'll take that one instead of that single C. And Darren, you got two. You can sail each of your boats twice, and then the game is over for you. So yeah, and are you going to sail? Um, and you kind of have. No, I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't think there's much you can do that yeah. that you haven't already done. Yeah, you've pretty much taken everything. Yeah. Great job on the island control, man. You you really yeah. turned that around. I like. <laughs> I'm quite surprised yeah. at how destroyed I I got on I too, to on those islands. Okay, so let's let's go into scoring. We're going to flip the Aramat over. Um, so we're going to start with Njord being the most powerful god. So, Darren, you have two F runes that are island runes. So that's worth 12 points total because each are six. So I'm going to drop yours on the 12. I don't have any runes of that type. Um, so then, but for favor cards, Darren, you have one. That's worth four. So I'm going to bump you up to 16 now. And I have two so that's going to be worth eight so i'm taking eight points and then let's move to the next most furious god which will be freya so freya let's see if you have a c island rune which darren you do that's going to be worth five points and you're at 16 so that's going to take you to 21 i don't have that anymore um, but i do have two favor card runes which will be worth six points total and darren you have one so that'll be three so darren i'm going to give you your three Put okay. you up to 24. I'm going to take my six, putting me up to 14. Okay. And then uh, moving on to Sif, who is the last place value here. Uh, I do have an island rune for Sif, so that's four points for me, Yay. putting me up to 18. And then I have two of the uh, favor cards. That's two points each for a total of four. So that puts me at 22. Oh, get this raven out of the way. Darren beats me by two points. Yay. It was that, ah, oh, dude, being able to raid or uh, sail with that yeah. dedicated village there at the yeah. end of Take That Sea was all the difference for you. Yeah, I'm um, glad I saved it for the end. All right. Good game, Darren. Oh, thank you. Nice job. Okay, right, that was guys, a close one. That was a close battle. Yeah, okay, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Tiny Epic Vikings 2-player. Uh, check us out on Kickstarter right now, and uh, we'll see you in the comment boards. Thank you, everybody, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.